The party that claims to be about women's empowerment is perfectly fine with a gay man dressing up as a woman, playing into every sexist stereotype and demeaning about every feminine quality God gifted to actual women. It's wrong. It's insulting. It's another day in Brandon's America, and it's time for Final Thoughts. Meet Dylan Mulvaney, a so-called transgender activist who, before it became all the rage to suffer from gender dysmorphia, was a self-described gay man. Well, not anymore. Now he dresses up as a woman and essentially makes fun of what it is to be a woman. Take a look. I did manage to sneak into dance classes at age three, and for years I was the only boy at the dance studio. I loved Barbies and singing on the coffee table and dress up. I went to Catholic school and I was such a good Catholic kid. I would sing in the choir and be like, shepherd me, oh God. Day 74 of being a girl, round of applause for the makeup. And I wore this outfit shopping today, and I thought that these might be my new shopping shorts. But I was walking around and everyone was staring and I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? And they were all staring directly at my crotch. And I went, oh, I forgot that my crotch doesn't look like other women's crotches sometimes because mine doesn't look like a little Barbie pocket. In another clip, Dylan described himself as a bimbo in a Barbie. Let's just take a step back for a moment and just take this all in. If a straight, binary, non-trans man were to dress up like a woman and essentially make fun of feminine qualities, the leftists, the feminists, the Democrats would be shrieking, snarling, and hissing. But this crap gets a pass? No, Dylan, our anatomy cannot be reduced to a Barbie pocket. No, Dylan, parading around in ruffles, feathers, and the color pink isn't the epitome of femininity. And to reduce actual women to that kind of stereotype is the kind of thing the collective left and for damn sure the feminist movement normally condemns and viciously. But now we've entered into such an upside down, backward ass, woke up time that all that has become not only acceptable but celebrated by the left. All you have to do is call yourself a they or identify as trans non-binary and you get a White House sized pass to do and say whatever. And speaking of White House, I'm sure you won't be surprised to know that our 46th president, Joe Brandon, not only invited that thing to a campaign event at the White House last weekend, but also said this. So I feel very, very strongly that, uh, that you should have every single solitary right, including including use of the, your gender identity bathrooms in public. Thank you. Yes, bathrooms should be a gosh darn free-for-all, according to Joe. This is just too freaking far, folks. And I'm not usually a hard nose when it comes to this stuff because I don't really care what people choose to do with their own bodies. But this crap has gone out of bounds because kids see this kind of thing, endorsed by a sitting president, no less, and it confuses the hell out of them. They're actively being taught, no, indoctrinated to believe that if little boys enjoy glitter, singing and dancing, or little girls enjoy soldiers, mud, and monster trucks, then they must be trans. This is sick, and it's child abuse. And those are my final thoughts. Don't forget to catch the entire show, as well as exclusive content on Outkick.com. From Nashville, God bless, and take care.